Hey everybody, Jay here. Welcome back to the channel. We are actually down at my dad's house and he's got a tree that needs to be taken down and no fault of Homestead Jim. He's uh, he's a great homeowner, but he's just like apparently the rest of them and <laughs> it's still very last minute. So we have this more than super dead pine tree here. Oh man. And this is where dad kind of dumps his grass and kind of turns this over. He's kind of um, using the tractor and whatnot. Dad's got a pretty, as you can see, he's got a pretty big lawn. So lots of grass clippings. So he's just nervous that this tree's going to come down. Uh, I would say this would be in striking distance to the neighbors there. But we do have some lean back into the woods here. It's just a matter of, I mean, look at this thing. Yeah. <laughs> This thing's more than dead, so I think what I want to do is... I think uh, my best option is to get a rope in it, put some tension on it, and pull it over. We can send it anywhere in here, realistically, even if... I mean, I took... This is... These, Dad's killing this tree because he's got about three feet of compost on the, uh, on the trunk of it, so that one's going to die anyway. So even if we squash that one, it's no big deal. Unfortunately, the wind is blowing that way, which sucks. So let's get the throw line. Let's see if we can get a rope up at least halfway. We'll get the uh, Macedon or whatever, come along here and see what we can come up with. Man, I wouldn't be surprised if this thing blew over today. All right, let's see how many hundred attempts it's gonna take to get. Actually, you're standing right where I wanna be. Let's see if we can get El Throwball up in El Trio. Plenty of, rope, plenty of lines here. One, two, nope, wrong tree, yeah, I can't got it in there, kind of manipulate it a little bit, all right, so we got our Got our line somewhat. Just need to give. We need to get this. Uh, we need some type of rope on this. We need to basically pull this tree over. There's no way this is gonna fall, and there's no way that there's nothing to wedge with. So we need to literally just find a way to get some tension on it, which I think I think we have. Alright, so putting you guys on the top of the mulch pile here, I think this is the best we can, uh, I think this is the best we're going to get. So, I'm going to put a carabiner on this, and I think we're going to run our line through here, and we're going to, can you see that? Yeah. We're gonna see if we can, uh... oh yes, I did get over that. Okay. Oh, I'm moving the whole tree, see that? Okay, I like this. So you can see, if I pull my line tight, this is the best we're gonna get. Straight shot into the bush, I'm trying to send it basically in line with those two trees yeah so we don't have uh actually hold on let me oh yeah this tree might be better here let's see if we have enough do we have enough cordage oh yeah of course we do 
Okay, so let's wrap our sling around here. One wrap. One wrap should do. Yeah, I think so. Awesome. That'll do, right? What's wrong with that? All right, so now let's, let's run our cord through our rope puller here. Take out the slack. Check it out over there. All right, we got our line up as best we could. We got to run out pretty straight, pretty taut, right through those trees there. I don't even know if you can see that. Yeah, there it is right there. So let's go ahead and put a face cut in it, back cut, and then I think we can rope it over. <laughs> I think that'll pull over. Yeah, I think that'll pull over. Okay, that's in there. Let's get this out of here. Put you guys right here, hopefully safe. And I'm gonna pull my pump to my heart's content on the rack. Not what we wanted, but that's what we got. No big deal, right? Oh yeah, we're sitting right in this, right in this uh, oak here. All right, let's at least get that off the stump. And it'll probably fall I through. I will say our hinge and our notch were good. <laughs> Did what we wanted it to do, but it just got hung up. So let's just keep dicing it up. You've seen me do this before. Eventually it'll come out of that crotch.
All right, folks, well, camera's gonna die. As you can see, actually, this had a lot more good wood than the tree we looked at a couple videos ago, the dead dead wood tree or death tree, whatever I called it. So, needless to say, it did what it wanted. It just, I thought it would sneak through that opening there, but it was taller than I estimated, but there was no other, there was no way I was going back towards the driveway here. That's the neighbor's house. I didn't want to send it over there somewhere, somehow. What we can do is, is Dad can get the tractor with the chain. We could pull that right out, uh, that crotch there, so that's no big deal. But my camera's gonna die, so I just wanted you to get the action. First time using that rope puller. Um, that works pretty good, nice insurance. I could tell as soon as I was ratcheting, ratcheting, all of a sudden the rope went limb. I look up, tree's on its way down, so. I'm really happy with that um, Mazdam. I'll overlay a photo. I just bought it, $300 setup, or two $300 setup, I don't remember, but um, yeah, needless to say, just helping Pops out here. Uh, we can clean all these dead logs up with uh, the tractor, and we can chain that and pull that out. He's just gotta take the snowblower off, so. Yeah, needless to say, folks, God bless. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. Like I always say, we'll see you guys out in the woods.